What's up guys, Kenan from the KRVR. Today is finally the day I, if, well, for those of you who have been paying attention, I went and I bought a Mac. It's the MacBook 13 inch late 2008 model, so that's the aluminium uh, unibody construction. It has the 2.4 gigahertz Core 2 Duo processor, and I think I'm right in saying 350 gigabytes of space on the hard drive. So we're going to go ahead and dig right in with my childish kind of looking knife but it's really razor sharp as long as I, you know what would really be terrible is if I cut myself on the camera I'm sure someone's done that before but that would just look off okay there's that bit there okay open up the box Nope, they just sort of tossed it in here, but here it is. It's got some scratches on it, but that's okay. I can deal with that. But let's see. They put... Let's see what else we have in this box. They have the MagSafe charger. They've got some discs for me. Awesome. And some papers. So the first thing we're going to do, really, oh, well, there's everything else. So every, what we're going to deal with first, we're going to replace the RAM, and we're going to start it up and see how she runs. Okay, guys, so now we've uh, installed the four, um, uh, the four gigabytes of RAM. We're all good with that. And we've put a new hard drive in. This is the old one. And now it's time to get to an OS. Yep, time to install an OS. All right, now begins the process of all the software jazz. But soon I'll be using it. I am, I am ecstatic. All right, guys, we are now back at the homestead from Ryan's house. I just want to go over a few things about this Mac, this particular Mac. The first thing would be flaws. It's obviously purchased used, so what's wrong with it? Well, there's a very, very small dent that you can't, you can hardly even feel when you run your finger across, but you can see it in pretty bright light, but I mean, it's it's not, nothing that bad. Uh, another thing, there's a lot of dust all along the machine, but obviously that can be fixed. The uh, MagSafe charger itself, the whole charger seems to be in, in very bad shape, as you can see by the scratches. But that's no big deal. I can replace that, no problem. Um, in terms of the top, I'm not going to close it because, well, obviously it's 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 busy. But there are some there are some minor scratches. Um, this stuff here, that's actually just dirt. I need to clean off. But there are some scratches on it. But again, nothing too terrible. It's in pretty good shape. The keyboard is what's well, amazing. It's in remarkably good shape. I don't. I don't even see. There are no stains on it whatsoever. So either the guy, the guy probably just had a cover on it who had this before I did. But it looks like it's in really good shape. And um, the back, uh, or the underside rather, is in still in pretty good shape. I don't want to flip it over while it's working. But all in all, it was a very very good buy. It got the whole package. Um, this and. Some outdated software actually for uh, six hundred twenty nine dollars, so definitely not a bad buy at all. And so far, I'm very happy with it. Um, and I'll get back to you when this is finished installing. All right, guys, I'm done installing Snow Leopard. So yeah, here we go. I am happy about this Mac. Here we are. Got the four gig four gigabytes of RAM on the 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo processor so yeah everything looks like it's just gonna be really really great I can't wait to start using this I'm just I can't tell you how ecstatic I am so that's it for me guys this has just been a quick tour of what I've been doing you guys already know how all the stuff installs so I am I am just absolutely ecstatic. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. You're going to see a lot of different stuff about the Mac as I go through what I'm using it for. So, And I'm going to be editing stuff in iMovie pretty soon. I may even edit this in iMovie. I don't know. And I am just 
I have a hunch this is going to be a very good experience. So uh, make sure to follow me on Twitter at the KRVR, and I will talk to you guys in the near future.